Oh boy, I'm pretty much still in crazy mode over here in Fire Emblem Awakening. Got a whole bunch of guys over here who want to attack us. Yeah, these guys over here that want to attack us. How nice is that? <laughs> okay. That's very nice, I can agree to that. Uh, let's see. These two don't really have too much attacking moves left to go on. So that's not good at all. We'll have Lisa take care of them then. You two come in here and attack these guys. Okay, I can over how fantastic these graphics are. Alright. Still doing pretty good. Hmm. See? She can attack twice. I'm sorry. There we are. That was amazing. Indeed, very amazing indeed. Okay. Now I guess we attack this guy. Second, third, and lethality doesn't really make much sense. But I'll roll with it. Hmm. That was sweet. God, that's not good. Jeez. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Does this guy have a bow? Yeah, he does. Oh, crap. This is not good. Crap. Alright. It's alright. Joran has come. Nicely done. Thank you very much. Alright. Crap. Hmm. That's good. We'll use men on Naui. It's always good to have some yours. Oh jeez. Dino. Quite satisfied indeed. Close. Oh, jeez. I'm just breaking the of my nails. Ah, crap. You're gonna be coming out of the hard thing. Yeah, 
Oh good. Oh thank goodness. Okay. Let's use mend on Darja. The good thing about Darja and uh, Olivia is that these are the type of characters you can just send out on their own to dish out damage. If you can handle yourself, then why are you near death? Alright. Lisa, uh, you can heal up. Heal up little Lucina. There we go. Okay. Now I do believe we can get out over here, but Libra is the only one who has the key, so we're all gonna need to follow his lead. It's probably another reason why I like to use pairs, because you can move two characters at once with the efficiency of only having one character move around. Plus, the characters that attack get stat boosts. Alright, so there we are, the door's open. Yay! What's this? Oh, yeah, no, he was played. That's a nice reward, too. Okay. Now let's just get out of here. Yeah, does anyone need to be fortified? No. Well, I don't believe my character needs a little bit of HP. So we'll get to that. It's like a giant swarm of people just trying to fit down one door. <laughs> it's hilarious. Oh jeez, there's no god. All to defy the will of Grimo, we purge the flames of destruction. Ugh, <sighs> Alright. Okay. Not to be like this, right? Yeah, let's just mend up me. There we go, we good to go, good to go indeed. And I don't know, maybe Lucina can attack him, possibly. Yes. Let's just uh, get him with my silver sword, no? Okay. Okay. We'll rally him up. Then she can attack. Yeah. That'll be good. I've got you. There we go. Critical hit. Lord Green Law rain down retroversion. Good. Very good. Ooh, Master Seal, that's good. Right. That's the last of the bandits. The holds reclaimed. The villagers will sleep better for our good works, my lord. Yay! Hey there. Um, Olivia, might I have a moment? Huh? What with me? Why? How did you know my name? <laughs> the little bird tweeted out. So, is that yes? Yes. Um, Alright, I guess. Er, uh, yes, you see, what I mean to say is... Goodness is much harder than chatting up other girls, I bet. I suppose I'll be the quickest just to show you this. Uh, my ring, but I'm wearing it. How did you... Indeed, how does Indigo have your ring when there is only one in all the world? Unless it is your ring, and I brought it back from the future. Yeah. What, you mean like Lucina? Quite. Exactly. I knew my mother was a dancer, you see, so I've been scouring the land looking for all the dancers I could find. Not the worst job in the world, mind. <laughs> and now I finally found you, mother, and my dancing is all the better for it. Huh? Oh, you dance? There are sort of, yes, that is to say, I try my best. But some people don't appreciate male dancers. Not that I care. I'm content to just shake my hips for the ladies. <laughs> oh, don't listen to them. I think it's wonderful. I'd love to watch you dance sometimes. No, no, impossible. I'd be far too embarrassed for that. Besides, I'd rather watch you dance. What? No, I couldn't possibly. I'm shyer than you are, mother. Was that alright? You are not. <laughs> Would you 
did you stop it already? Now I'm the one that's getting embarrassed. <laughs> oh god, poor Grom. <laughs> At last, tea time has arrived. Hey. We're leaving, Inigo. What? What? Right now? But, but tea time. War is hell, Inigo. Now come with us or be left behind. Huh? Fine, fine, I'm coming. I suppose there'll be no more buttercups booming along the road ahead. Oh. Poor little guy. <laughs> okay, that was pretty funny though. <laughs> Yay! Um. Here you go, it's the middle of the night. Where are you going? <gasps> oh, mother, I was yourself to chat up the ladies. You know me. Haha. <laughs> Nonsense. The only thing out there in this hour is rising. Now, may I have the truth? Sure, I'm, I'm just one to practice your dancing. How would you know? Someone said they spotted you dancing in the woods a few nights back. I thought you might be making the habit of it. Did I saw that, but I made sure to stay behind that big tree the whole time. Hard is so embarrassing. I bet they were horrified. Quite the opposite. They said it was a breathtaking sight. Apparently, they lost track of time just standing there, mesmerized. That's even more embarrassing. I'm not going to praise, you know. I'm used to rejection. Uh, wait, lost track of time. How long were they watching? Uh, I give up. I'll never be able to practice in peace again. This is going to haunt me to the grave. The grave, I tell you. Okay. What if we practice together? Finding secret uh, the way spots to practice something a talent of mine. Besides, it's too dangerous to let you charge off in the woods alone at night. Together with you. Wouldn't you be a millionaire trying out incomplete dances with someone watching? Well. Now that someone were you, you are my son, Indigo. So what do you say? You will be just the two of us. Well, that's really sweet, but I'm sorry, Mother. Huh? Hmm, why not? Still too embarrassing? <laughs> no, it's not that well, is it? But it's more than that. Um, I mean. All safe now. I'm sorry, but I can't. I just can't. I'm going back to my tent. Good night, Mother. What? Wait. Ah, father, that gorgeous girl was just about to say yes to a date chilled about to. Did they really have to track me off like that? We got this a battle to prepare for. Everyone else is fixed to march. If you're mad, be mad at yourself for this attack attack. Oops. Alright, I'm gonna try some enemies to find a village last to reward my efforts. You're staring, father. Is there something on my face? Nah, I'm just wondering if you're going to like this in the future, too. Depends on what you mean by like this, I suppose. For someone who hollers around an apocalyptic hellscape, you sure are carefree. Seems like you ain't got a care in the world, but it's so let you be sharing. You're seeing the sojourn in serious and strange, you ain't got none of that purpose. What? No purpose? I'll have you know, I'm extremely driving. Huh. Oh, you are, are ya? <laughs> Indeed, I will not rest until every woman in the realm swoons at just hearing my name. Holy. Your purpose in life is to be popular with the ladies. You literally just jump through time just to be popular with some ladies. To be popular with all ladies. Genius, I know. But stop, Father. You're making me blush. I'm more than my deserve, son. What? Why? Never bother you when Mother would blush in front of you. No, isn't it? What? Where do I even start? Ah, horse feathers. Yeah, with your plum tucker to me out. I'm going on ahead. Not a care in the world, huh? Not thought my head, he means. For being such a softy with everyone else, he sure doesn't pull any punches with me. <laughs> uh, poor guy. The sweet marriage. Yes. Hmm, that's Minerva, but something sounds wrong. What is it? What happened? <laughs> what is the court? She's not feeling well. Understood. I'll come right away. I'm here. Hello, Libra. What are you doing here? Minerva came to me in panic. She said you were ill. Oh she said that. Thy will be done. Please, the court, what is the matter? Shall I summon a doctor? The doctor will not help, I'm afraid. I'm suffering from an ailment of the heart. That's, um, I'm expecting this to be someone more cautious than metaphor. But yes, I am. Really? I see. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to spring it on you so suddenly, but I couldn't. Oh do not apologize. Your words bring joy to my heart. Oh. They do? Yes. Absolutely. I would not lie to you about such a thing. I confess in bouts of wild optimism, I pray this day might come. And yet I'm a man poor in worldly goods, and I do not have a ring to offer you. 